Hey folks, this is my video for uh, how to get the best game performance from your Surface Pro 2. I'll have a few tips and tricks on how to get this performance, like a few programs as well. I'll have the links for them as well, like in the video. But um, first of all, I'll show you in the control panel, one of the best things you should do with any PC, never mind just your Surface Pro, is go into your control panel, go to System, and then go to Windows Update, check for the updates. So you can check for them there and it'll update you know windows 8 or windows 8.1 whatever one you're running on whatever machine you've got that's one of like the, the first things you should do before any of the other ones that you do so anyway, i've got no updates available but if you have any you no know, update them now and then restart your computer before you go on to the next next step next step would be go to your power options and uh, you can put it to high performance for your power plans i usually put it to high performance if i'm running it off of like a charger or it's plugged in but if I'm going with it on the battery I'd usually change it to the balanced uh, power plan but you can go into the advanced settings and change like your graphics card like uh, the graphics settings how well how much performance you get out of it and the same for the processor power as well how much performance you're getting out of it but I'm pretty sure the high performance plan which is like a default uh, usually has like everything basically maxed out but you, if you've got Razer Game Booster, it also has its own uh, personal power plan as well. But the balanced one's the one I use to uh, use a lot if I'm just running off a battery, if I'm like away uh, carrying the tablet with me, or if I'm away uh, with work or whatever, I'll usually use that. One of the next things I'll show you is uh, in the graphics property. If you right-click on your desktop, it'll take you into the Intel graphics control panel. You can go into display and change whatever you want there, 1920 by 1080, whatever screen res res yeah, resolution you want and then you can go into the graphics side of it and go into the 3d and go into performance you can go with quality if you want but really on like the tablet such as the surface pro 2 you really want the best performance you can get you know graphics isn't a major issue you know you're wanting to get the best fps you can for you know what you've got and uh quality is not a, especially on such a like a 10.6 inch screen 720p you looks totally fine with like low settings most things run pretty well but anyway, the next program I'm wanting now is uh, Driver Max, so that'll be the next one that you'll be uh, doing. You have to. I'll, I'll give a link on uh, how to get this. You can pay for it in the Pro Edition, but um, I, I paid for. I paid for like a year. I think it cost me like about twenty quid. But it's just the best program I've had for like fuck knows how long. It's a brilliant program. Uh, basically, how it works is it'll scan your system for the latest drivers that you can get, and it'll get them from loads of various sites. I'll just show you that just now. And just please wait analyzing yeah there we go and basically here it comes with all you the different drivers that you've got installed all the ones that are with a green tick are the ones that i've downloaded and you know are up to date ones with like the cross will be the ones that are out of date and it'll give you a link to download them from a secure site and it'll install them for you and i've had no issues with this program whatsoever it's been amazing i use it on my own desktop as well and there we go there we go that's the Intel graphics family. That's the one you really want updated. But uh, there's there's another way you can do this. You don't have to do it through Driver Max. You can go into whatever browser you're using and just type in Intel, and that'll bring you onto the Intel site. Then go to the menu, drop down menu, go to support, then go to downloads and drivers, browse for drivers, then just go to graphics go to laptop graphics drivers you would think it'd be netbook and tablets but it's graphics uh, for laptops and the fourth generation hd 4400 that's for the surface pro 2 but i believe the surface pro 1 runs the 4000 so you could uh, use its driver for that if you're using the surface pro 1 but i'm using the surface pro 2 so i'll go with the 4400 and then windows 8.1 64 bit it'll give you selection of drivers and then scroll down and it will give you the latest driver that it has on the site so that's the intel iris there we go uh, and i'll just show you this this is why i like driver max because it seems to give me a more updated driver than what intel i've actually got on their site if you look at the thing that i've got highlighted there the numbers i've got highlighted it's 3.496 at the end of it whereas the one i've got on driver max is 0.357 at the end of it so it's obviously a more updated driver than what it's what you can get off the Intel site, which would hopefully give you more stability or performance. But nonetheless, that's got to say I love I love that program. If you can get a, you can get a free version, which allows you to just download a couple of like drivers a day. But you know that that one's totally fine. But if you want to if you buy if you reset your machine or whatever, 
you'd have to install all the drivers again in Pro Edition for how much you're paying is totally worth the money. Um, I'll show you something else there. Another good thing I'll have a link for as well is for unparking your CPU. Uh, the CPU cores which will increase the performance you can get. Some people have like no performance increase with it, some people have like ridiculously amazing performance increases with it like in uh, FPS and stuff like that. But I'll just show you, it'll just uh, check the status of your cores at the moment. Just search in the registry, the guy that made this doesn't speak English, well write in English properly but hey, he's made a good program. Alright, there we go. So it's showing the numbers, right? The volume max unparked. I've got it unparked already because I've already done this. But if you, the first time you do it, it should say parked. And then all you have to do is you can park them individually. All you have to do to unpark them is just unpark all, let it sit and do that. And then it'll come up saying that they're unparked. And the waiting. And there we go, unparked. So that's it. And all you have to do is just close it down. You could restart the machine at this point as well, especially if you've uh, installed a few drivers from Drive Driver Max. But um, another program I sometimes use is Razer Game Booster. You won't see a massive FPS increase with it, but you know it is it is significant to help you. I mean, one of the utilities I use in it is uh, the Tweak, which I will just show you. This is just showing you the boost just now with it just kind of showing you what it'll kind of cancel out so it'll give you more like CPU usage like I'm using Bandicam there, it's using 16.4% of the CPU but if once I start up a game it'll cancel that action and then allow me to get more from the CPU just restore it back to the factory settings that I've got here so that, that it just shows you what it kind of increases increase available worker threads and optimize CPU capability the current value is 0, new value is 10 and it'll just go through there's drop down menu of like all the things that it will improve to give you more FPS and more performance which is quite a few things so all you have to do is click optimize do that and then you restart your machine for the changes to take effect and then that is basically it all you have to do is exit with that you can do the defrag as well if you're using stuff off of like a hard drive if you've got a hard drive connected but if you've got stuff on the solid state on your surface don't don't defrag it because it doesn't need to SSDs do not need to be defragged so do not do that just leave them as is it should be totally fine apart from that there's nothing else I can really think of I'll have the links for driver max and uh, Razer game booster and the CPU on Parker for you as well but uh, anyway guys if you've got any other tips for NBD just leave them in the comments and uh, thanks for watching and like and subscribe to the video if you can please thank you